<laughs> so, hey everyone, as you're coming in, please like and share and say hello. Uh, we are just stopping by, checking in, saying hello. It's been, hope, I can't believe it's been three years. Yep, it has been. Since we um, considered and thought about Transform and Touch, I, I cannot believe it. I, I was looking back at some pictures and I was like, oh my, and I went back to the blog and stuff. But, um, but yeah, it's been three years. So give me a minute so I can check on this so I can see y'all. So y'all, please uh, say hi when you come in. Hello, Marquia, Marquia Brown, how you doing? Hey, Sharis, and hey, everyone that's coming in. Don't forget to share and like. This is Dimitri Payne and Hope Jennings. And uh, we wanted to just say hello. She's going to tell you about herself, and I'm going to tell you about myself. So it'll be easier. But we have known each other for at least 11 years. Yes. At least. And then um, we have come to realize that we are in agreement with a lot of different things. Hello, Siobhan. Thank you for coming in. Um, we're in agreement with a lot of different, a, a lot of things. And so we thought it be um, a great idea to consider doing some blogging and now you t uh, Facebook living and coming to encourage you and to just be a smile. <laughs> right excuse the fog in my glass can't see it. if i hope y'all can't but if you can just just give me a minute i'm gonna fix it uh welcome victoria hello siobhan i think i may have said it already hello artis how are you so we are um doing this wellness check uh wellness hello uh all different kinds just just wanted to check in on people uh, just to say hi and just to be an encouragement and to talk about how we have um, been dealing with COVID-19, how our houses have been and, and some things, some practical things we have uh, talked about possibly, you know, trying to consider and use as we continue on this journey because I don't think, Hope may disagree, I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to be over anytime soon. No. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, just, and so, you know, some people are like, oh, I can't wait for this to be over. However, um, I believe our patience is going to continue to be tested. <laughs> and um, our, um, our waiting and our, you know, in this is going to really push us and really test us. So we're here to hopefully help and encourage um, on today. So I am. Like you already know me. I am Dimitri Payne. Um, what you see is what you get. <laughs> I'm going to talk a lot. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. Wait um, a minute. You don't do what? What? I don't did do say, Did you say you don't talk a lot? I don't talk a lot. No. I, if I said that, I'm sorry. Because I do. My husband's like, wow, you really do talk. <laughs> you discovered that during this COVID-19, y'all. He was like, you really talk a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'm a wife, a mom. Uh, I am a financial analyst. I, uh, I'm a minister. I am a person of worship leader. There's a lot of things that I do, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot. I, I call myself the jack of all trades and the master of none. Okay. Uh, the Lord has given me many gifts and I'm appreciative of that. I, uh, and those things that, uh, those are the things that I do. Um, but who I am as Dimitri is someone, um, that is loving and, uh, honest and, um, definitely sincere. And I, uh, put my heart into everything I do. And if I don't have my heart in it, you know I'm not gonna do it. So that's the thing with me. So those are the things about me that I think I could say that are good things. Now, things that are not so good, <laughs> I, I, you know. Tell it, that's the thought. Things that are not so good. I, I struggle sometimes when um, 
things aren't working like they should. And I think that's all of us. I think something mm -hmm. to me, one of these devices. I um I am stubborn. I do listen, listen, this is this is uh Dimitri, what you see, what you get. I'm just stubborn by fault, but the Lord is yet working. Y'all know how we y'all know how we church folks will do it. The Lord is yet working on me. Um but my stubbornness is one of those things where I will stand my ground, mm. you know, and, 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 and it's hard to sway me. I'm very logical. I'm very quantitative. Oh. I, when, I, when, when things don't add up, you know, I'm, I'm strong in my faith. Yes, I believe in miraculous and, and miracles. I believe in it. But when uh things don't add up uh dimitri will ask questions so that's just a little bit about me and th there's so much more but we can't share it all today but i want my friend hope um whom i love dear dearly to uh introduce herself to you all today and hey as y'all are coming in i'm no different than dimitri what you see it's just what you get. It's who I am. Um, I'm a very simple person. I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother of two. Um, I get to spoil those little babies. We call them Gigi's babies. I love those two little boys. You're but, a Gigi. Um, yes, I'm a Gigi. One is, <laughs> one's about to be one year old in June, actually, and the other will be four this year. Mm -hmm. Yep, and something else we share, we are both May babies. Yes, we are. Your birthday is coming. So, yes, I will be the big five. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I will be 50 or maybe 11. Yep, I'm yes. always right around Mother's Day, but um, I don't mind telling my age. You know how some women are. Don't ask oh, yeah. me my age. Yeah, we will, we will tell our age. Listen, it's a blessing to be alive, so I'll gladly tell my age. But uh, yes. like the Mitra, I'm a minister of the gospel. I love people. Uh, I'm a life coach, a teacher, an inspiration to many but myself first. And that's why we're here today. Um, we are just lovers of people. And um, we did, we met each other years ago. Uh, we did. It's been nothing but a, <sighs> joy, a genuine sisterhood ever since that time. Yes. And so like you, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. It's always a pleasure to share. Sometimes our schedules don't always allow us to get together because it's life, it's family. And um, we keep the main thing, the main thing. Amen. And so we're just here today to share a little bit with you all. So um, not just share with you, but hopefully encourage you, empower you, strengthen you, give you some laughter, give you some love and life in the midst of being locked up in your homes in this great pandemic that we're all in together because you're not by yourself. We are all in it together, feeling something, some type of way or another. So welcome. Glad you could join. I can't see everyone. I could at first, but um. I can't see everyone that's coming in, but thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you, thank you for joining. And hello, um, we won't call all your names, but I definitely will go back through the comments and reply as, um, as you know, once we're done. However, so, how's it been going for me in this <laughs> pandemic? I, I, um, I believe if, if any of you guys are directly uh, Facebook friends with me, some of you are and some of you not, you're not, but if you are a direct friend with me, you know it has been a challenge. It has been interesting, to say the least. Um, one, it was fine. It was cool at first, and then like, like two, three weeks went by, and I was like, okay, I can do this. This is all right. But then when they started changing dates and I started seeing things were happening, I was like, wait a minute, hold, hold on, wait. <laughs> if you know anything, like I said, if you know me, you know I am always on the go. I am always moving. I'm always in and out. We, this is the first time we've stayed in our house for this long time ever. Well, I guess that's everybody now. Um, when we stayed at our house, for that first weekend, you know, that was the first time we had ever did it, watching movies, hanging out, being at the house. We were like, whoa. So we, then we found projects to do and we started doing stuff, you know, like everybody else, everybody's working and doing stuff in their house. Um, 
And so it kind of became challenging, but I was like, okay, Lord, you just go to my prayer since the beginning of this thing is get me through it. Yes, I, I think we all are saying the same. Yeah, just get me through it. Like, you know, because I think we don't know the magnitude, we don't understand it all, you know, because of our human minds. We try our best to comprehend, but this situation we really can't comprehend. And, and it's hard because we can't comprehend and we don't know what the future is going to look like. We don't know right now. And so it's, it's hard. So that's been a challenge. And it was a challenge for me. So I uh, started walking. I, I try to walk at least three or four days a week. Um, I'm trying to get to all seven days, but it just seems like I'm busier. I'm starting to get more busy even in the house. I'm finding stuff to do. So not sure how that works, but I am busy in this house. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to do. There's plenty to do in my house. Um, I started walking and um, my kids have been homeschooling and doing stuff for like five weeks. Now, let me tell you. <laughs> Whew. It has been a mess. <laughs> But no, it, we have made it through. I can honestly say, um, I, I think I appreciate you teachers. I love you guys. Um, I understand. Uh, I've, all, I've always known I'm not a teacher and I understand if I can't teach you, I know somebody else who can't. You know, I'm always trying to find resources. Um, uh, for instance, like my son, um, I can help him in basketball, but I can't help him in baseball. So I have to find the resources. So for me, School was the resource I needed, and I know it was the law, but I needed them. I needed them, you know? Right, right. But now I'm in a situation where, you know, they have to be here. And um, and so we have really struggled. We've had these power struggles. We've had this schedule time, trying to keep them on schedule. If y'all got any tips, let me know. But I've had to do some, um, uh, I had to do some things that, I don't mind admitting, but I've had to get really tough on my kids just to spend like two hours a day on their schoolwork. It's better now, but we right. still have um, challenges. I have one coming down now that I have one just coming to join us probably. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we, you know, it's that fight tooth and nail and it's like, they're like, well, if, the grades don't count, why are we doing it? Mm -hmm. you know, and, and if this whole thing where you still need to practice, you still need to exercise your brain, son. So keeping structure for them has been a big challenge. Some days are great, of, let's see, I would say two days out of the week are great. Mm. I'll be honest, two days out of the week. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to say that because my kids are resilient, they're smart, I don't, I don't I'm not concerned. Um, but at the same time, I would love for them to have five days of scheduled time and normalcy, but it just can't happen. Now, we, they do it, but it's just not on a normal regimented schedule. Right. Um, some of that is on me, and, and, and you know, there's some things you like pick your battles. And I have decided to pick my battles and not stress out about this. Um, because a lot of moms are just like me. Um, you're in the comments. Hello, you're in the comments. You have kids, grade school. You, some of you have to be at home working with infants, yes, toddlers. Um, you know, it, it, if you're at home working, and then some of you have to actually go out and you're working, and your kids are home. So there's a lot of things to think about, and and I, I've. I've made the decision not to beat myself up. Oh, that's a good thing because um, you, are, you are speaking for so many other mothers. We only have one. We've got five boys. There's only one at home. So, yeah. and Joshua's a junior, but you still have to check in to make sure. And mm -hmm. I have heard, such as yourself, a lot of other mothers saying, you know, we, it wasn't that they didn't appreciate teachers before, Oh, yeah, absolutely. They have a better understanding of the challenges that go along with keeping them focused, keeping them on track. And you, like a lot of mothers, are out of, out of the homework and coming home to now do schoolwork. Yes. Trying to work and keep them doing their schoolwork. 
and not even that be motivated right yeah, yeah be motivated so you're speaking mm -hmm. for you're not alone absolutely absolutely so ladies we're not alone in this and um yes yeah, some days are better than others but um uh, we're, we're, we're in it together and 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 we get through it by god's grace um like i said i had i think i had two good days this week and i praise god for those two good days because i i celebrated them i praised them i said like, you guys got up when you needed to you know i celebrated them and um, I don't have to give myself a pat on the back. I just want to make sure they understand that. And, um, and trying to deal with them and, and understanding all this, because my youngest is like, hey, I think I missed school. Because mama's a little bit harder than the teacher, I believe. Oh, wow, wow. Mama's, wow. A, little mama's a little tougher. Um, and, but there's an expectation that I have so if mama sees something that's not right, she's going to make sure it's right and we're not gonna let it go. I have not heard that from a parent, but that's good because it's now just two children for your household in the classroom, so to speak, than 20. Absolutely, absolutely. On him, so he realizes he can't get away with mama where he may be some things with the teacher because she's only got two eyes for all of those students versus right. now one. Yes, and there's more focus. And I'm grateful for that because um, even though it, it has its challenges, I, I'm grateful that, okay, I see what he needs to work on and he, he can be ready when they do start back. Right, and I'm not seeing, again, all of the comments that you are, but one of the things when Demetri and I got together about, it was interesting, uh, we met, um, I think, in... Um, what do you call it, Kids Cove at Liberty University? Mm -hmm. Yes. We met and we were just talking and we realized the like-mindedness that we had and the love for women and people in general. And um, that's one of the things of the wellness check today is to check in on you um, to see how you're doing, not that you were forgotten, but also with transforming touch, just being real and genuine about ourselves. We're transparent people with one another, with other people. There's nothing to hide. Like we both said, what you see is what you get. Um, you know, there's no gray area here. It's either the truth um, or you, you know, if you don't want the truth, then you just don't want it. But it's here not just to give you the truth, but to love on you because this pandemic has changed um, everybody's lifestyle. But prayerfully, it's allowed you to see where you've grown, where you need to grow, um, where you've gotten stronger, where some strengths are, where some weaknesses are. Uh, hopefully you've been able to examine yourself. So as we do the wellness check today, so to speak, um, it's about being mindful of how we keep our sanity in the midst of the chaos or the isolation. Because some people, Demetria, aren't used to being with their family all day long. If you think about it, our children are in school from let's just say 7 a.m. to 3 or 4 when the bus gets on. So that pushed everybody into, for some people, panic mode. It did. Think about some spouses who are not used to being in the home all day together, now having to work together and share that common space. Um, you know, they said that the, the statistics for domestic violence have gone up. Mm -hmm. because yes. On top of that, think about the financial issues that people are going through. So while we're talking about um, wellness check, we want you that are listening and anyone else to give yourself, as Demetra said, not that she's tooting her own horn, but you should applaud yourself for staying sane, focused, and at some sort of mind ease through all of this. But you do have to stop and take care of yourself in the midst of taking care of everyone else. Right, right, yes. You gotta do it. Yes, and I found myself doing that as well, um, making sure I do something. The walking. Yeah, the walking has helped a lot, y'all. Mm -hmm. The walking has helped more than anything. And, it, and it's not that I'm out there trying to compete and in, in, in run a marathon or, you know, walk fast and, you know, outdo it if you are a runner don't try to don't try to downplay it you do get out there in the races and run oh, i have yet to you. do mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> i get out there but i'm not racing racing like everybody else is you know i get out there but i used to be an athlete let's put it that way well, it's, it's a movement 
Yes, moving. Mm-hmm. I found it to be helpful. But you're I feel better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that's the key is you're taking the time. Like you, I've been walking every day too. I've been pretty mm-hmm. good. I've been doing at least six days a, a week. Good. Yeah, I've been doing about six days a week. But this week, I challenged myself to add, I like CrossFit. So mm-hmm. I wanted to up it a little bit. So I added a CrossFit workout in every morning about 5.30. Uh-huh. But um, that just was something I did for me. Not that anyone else has to do, but you have to take time for yourself. you got to yeah. um, to pamper yourself. You got to mm-hmm. do something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, and so, how have you guys been coping? Uh, you, like I said, you can type it in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, my cousin Hope said, "Once an athlete, always an athlete." Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, you go ahead and get out there and play. Well, you do participate in some of the um, basketball um, festivities that Longwood College has. But I guarantee after you participate, your body feels a little different than you did. <laughs> it, it hurts at 40. Yeah. A lot. It hurts, you know. It used to hurt then, but it, it hurts a lot more now. So yeah. uh, let us know uh, how you have been handling this. If it's been going good, thumbs up. If it's been going okay, you know, just let us know how it's been going. And don't be afraid. Don't be shy, y'all. And while we're, while your we're, comments, I may be missing them too. So, while we're doing self examination or the wellness check, um, Demetra, one of the things uh-huh. I think we also need to be mindful of is when you think about going to a doctor. And I often, um, my sister's a medical doctor, so sometimes I'm having these conversations with her. But it's almost like when you go in a doctor's office, they're checking your weight, they're checking your blood pressure, your temperature. Um, you know, a lot of little things. I, I hear some people jokingly saying, we're social distancing from our refrigerator. <laughs> because, you know, being in the house all day, you're working, but you're working, you're nibbling. Some people emotionally eat. Um, so all these little things of self-examination, you know, they check your blood pressure um, and your heart rate. Um, so all of those things, this time can be stressful for many. Yes, it can be. So the wellness check could be, um, you know, the walking helps to help with all of that. And we being African-American women and being females, some of those things are already a risk for us. Yes. So, um, you know, it's very, it's very pivotal that we're mindful of the times that we're in, what we're going through. But my hope and desire for everyone, Demetri, is to come out of this Better and than this world when you went in. And it's not yeah. always financial. Oh, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I have um, found some things, like you were talking about, that self-examination. It, you know, some things about me, you know, because I think I've been too busy to pay attention. Mm, that's good. About myself. And I have noticed some things, my temperament, my... Uh, my mood, my, you know, there are just some things and some triggers and some stuff that just, just come that, that, that may bother me or put me in a place where I shouldn't be. And I am working hard to make sure that I have those things that I've identified now. Yes. Don't necessarily go away that, but I, that I can handle them or understand, okay, we're in this situation. We're here. We're here so you're going to have to figure out how to navigate through this. Um, without catching the attitude, without, you know, with, without screaming, yelling, without, you know, with, you, I'm saying, hey, listen. I said, oh, because most people won't be honest about that, and I'm glad you are, because we, you know, we're good at it. We're, um, you know, I love all your makeup and your jewelry today, and I'm, you know, we didn't <laughs> get to go have all black, but we just did, and we she's matching. always about her hair, and her hair is always on point to me. Um, and I love it today. I love the curls and the natural look you have there. <laughs> you know how we are. We like to adorn this outside and have it appearing to look all together. Right. There are some times that we can be short at the mouth or we can have an attitude or not season our words with grace and say it. Ah, yes, yes. And I found that to be very true um, at times. And I'm, I'm working on that. And I said, okay, I don't want to be... Um, that woman or that person 
that's like volatile and home at home and then sweet to everybody. Come I, on, I, be it now. Yes. I, um, you know, and I'm not perfect. I, and I will say that I will, you know, I am not perfect, but you know, I have an expectation for my family, but just because they, you know, things don't go like I need them to at the time or because I'm sick of being in the house, I don't, they don't deserve for me to take it out on them. And Absolutely. I want to be, like you said, I want my words to be seasoned with salt. I want to have more grace when communicating, even with just my family. Um, and I found that those things that I need to work on, not, you know, and so I, it, it won't take anything from me. Well, now if my son gets up, gets me up at three o'clock in the morning, all bets are off. <laughs> what is but, he doing with that three? Listen, that those games and talking to your friends and they internetting and stuff. I mean, it's real. I was like, y'all don't understand it. And you know, they don't have anything else to do. What else do they have? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and I didn't even think about that, but same here. Um, <laughs> you can go to bed and get up to go to the restroom or whatever, just turn it over and hear something. Yeah, yes. <laughs> They're still up, you know, in the wee hours of the morning, catching up with friends or whatever. But those are real challenges that we as parents, as people face. And it's it's not just, like you said, it's being very mindful that those who are in your home, or around you don't get the leftovers right that they get the best of us because yes. I was guilty too we would go to work and I would be you know want to be kind and nice and be careful to watch what I say the mm -hmm. same should happen at home absolutely um, because they should be able to speak the same of me right. right and even though there's a certain expectation it doesn't mean that it can't be done with a certain level of patience love grace temperance Mm -hmm. all of that goes in with it so all the fruit of the spirit every last one of them all of it yes every last yeah. one yes yes so so that for me and that whole self-examination mm -hmm. you know and just just it, it, it's been something where i'm like i have to make sure yes we're around each other yes we're gonna get tired of each other it's it but it is but you should not be tired of everybody every day then that's a problem. And that's where the self-examination of checking your heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Eventually what's in here is gonna come out of here. And right. so we have to be very careful that we love on people um, with words, but also the way we wanna be treated. I just right. can't come at you any kind of way. And I think this is, hopefully this is what everyone is getting the opportunity to do, is to check where they are in life, is maybe push some buttons and some triggers, as you said earlier. Mm -hmm. But as we feel those things, we check ourselves to see what part I play in this situation. Because um, I'm with you. I don't believe you said at the beginning of this, I do not think this is going away. I believe that as we go into the summer months, things may lighten up a little bit. And I'm no doctor by any means. Mm -hmm. But I believe that, that we could use this time of quietness to settle ourselves and literally detox. Oh yeah. From the phone, the busyness of life, work, uh, television, and get an opportunity to know ourselves better as well as those that we live with and the vision and purpose for our life. Um, because I'm really, I'm excited about um, what I'm gonna see some people saying and doing when we come out of this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I believe it's going to be mind blowing. I've seen some very creative things that people are doing and coming up with in the midst of having to slow down. And guess what? How much do we say, um, girl, if I wasn't working and I had time, I would just do a little bit, more, a little bit more of that. But really how much have we done with the extra time we've had? We have said that a whole lot, but a lot. Um, there is a, um, there's uh, my cousin, she's a teacher. She says, um, I know you guys talk a lot about teaching your kids at home and being with family all day is a challenge. But as a teacher, it's hard for us also. Yes, uh, we have to make sure we keep up with the kids' speed, with their lessons and figuring out 
to get them to do their work online. Also, some of the parents want more than we are capable of giving. That's great that she yeah, shared that. Yeah, yeah. We can, as parents, put a lot of pressure on them. Um, right. You know, I used to always tell my boys, there's two sides to every story. I know you probably heard that before. But also, I would like to tell them, you know, um, the teachers have you at least eight hours of the day. Mm -hmm. What we see at home, the teachers are likely going to see at school. Right. Yeah. And you know your children, and their job isn't easy. Again, it's one of us with our children at home, but they've got, I don't know, some teachers have 25 plus students in one class. Yeah, they That's have a lot, a lot of, kids. of kids. Yes, yes. That's a lot. Yes, it is. And definitely, I do, I, I do talk to a lot of teachers, and I do understand that. And I'm, and, um, yeah, as me for a parent, I'm not sure why, um, but I guess some parents are just like, y'all tell us or help us because we don't know what to do. You know, I guess that's where, you know, a lot of teachers, I mean, the parents are putting that pressure on the teachers, but kind of like, okay, they're not in person. So it's kind of like, they need grace as well. Teachers yeah. need grace, parents need grace. We all need grace um, in this process. Um, and so, um, Valencia. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> oh, that's your sister. She hey. says, hey, sister. <laughs> she's coping. She's, she's uh, made a comment about how she copes. She says, I'm coping by um, reading for pleasure again. And she's mm -hmm. enjoying the Mamba mentality. Yes, I have that book as well. And she's enjoying exercising and meditating as well. Yes, all yes. of the things. Um, I am reading more. Um, mm -hmm. and doing a lot of that. And, but back to that whole detox thing. I, I think there's a lot, like you said, like cleaning out of certain things and the whole, I want to, now I'm saying this publicly, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Okay. You know, I have goals, but I'm not sure. But, I'm gonna hold you accountable, so just know when you say it. I'm gonna <laughs> listen. I want to do a device in a, a day, like Sunday, probably, of no devices in my house all day. Wow, to sundown. And my husband's like, How is that gonna work? Is that just for you or the entire household? The whole house. Oh, girl, when you want me to come rescue you. <laughs> Again, you know, that's a goal. Mm -hmm. For me, I would like to at least go, for me, device free one whole day um, and, and, and do better because I do, I am on my phone, I am on my stuff a lot, devices, because I'm working and communicating with people. Oh, since I've, since I've slowed down, I've talked to people more. Awesome. And see, I love, I love, I love, talking verbally and i enjoy writing letters i have a where my girl look i'm always with the stamps and cards <laughs> you oh you still write letters yes. yeah. i love oh. writing i think probably weekly i may send about 20 letters and cards that is so sweet i, I mean mm. i really enjoy because to me with the technology we've gotten so used to sending a text or posting no yes. one calls or you know you don't get a letter in the mail anymore um so to me it's a more of a personal touch and um you know being device free is huge if you can pull that off for of your whole household literally set the cameras well you can't get on but videotape it to where no one can touch the camera but i would love to see that in action because that's made that's really disconnected us to some degree as having that relationship because right. it's so technological these days. Yes, and I, you know, and 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 maybe not for some, most of adults that I converse have conversations with, but like children and how they, you know, verbally don't really communicate, but they will text you, you know, or younger. Have people. you ever gotten a text in your house from one of your children and they've been upstairs and you've been? <laughs> I text my younger my kids and tell them food or something because to call them or to say something they can't hear because they got these things in their ears and they like 
how they can't hear. So I have to text them. So yeah, we, we, we text. And especially if they're on the top floor and we're in the basement. Yeah, we text. Yeah, but look, her life has changed, but that's still a transition. It, even if, just as hard as it is for us as adults, as teenagers, children, young adults, toddlers, it's got to be just as difficult because, you know, um, imagine some of the little children that used to go to daycare and see their friends every day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're in the house with their parents. Right. Um, it's a shift and a transition for everyone. So for yes. you all that are listening, hopefully, um, you are living in the present moment and checking your heart, your wellness, detoxing from something. And, you know, I think you said, um, you said, uh, Valencia said, I call her Missy, meditating. Missy. Every yes. morning, Valencia, when I get up, I have my quiet time, my meditation period, whether I'm studying a devotional in the word or just sitting with nothing on. Quiet. Yeah. yeah. It is amazing the calmness that brings over me for my day. And right. I really think that's what delivered me from road rage. <laughs> Being in the quiet place because in the car, everything's noisy and moving. But right. um, you have to realize what your own issues are. Mine was road rage. Right. Uh huh. That has allowed me to have quiet, but that's what some people are on in their home. They're on a road rage because everything is constantly going. Right. And so uh, we have to be mindful of putting our spirit man in a quiet position to settle ourselves long enough to do what you said earlier. Right. I may have an expectation, but the way I say certain things um, matters. Because it affects your family. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, it affects your family. It does. It does. And then and you want to make sure that even though there's a lot going on the outside, your family is intact and safe and the and at peace. Um, you want to keep peace in your house. So because at the end of the day, when you cut that computer off at work, you have to come home. Yes, and now since I'm working at home, I'm home. Right. <laughs> yeah, at work and, and at the house. And it's, you know, it's different. It's a new normal for now. So we, you know, I, I'm, in, I'm learning to enjoy it and take advantage of it because I think, uh, I'm not going to say that because this is a public video, but I'll share that later about working from home. But. <laughs> well, we're going to, we're going to, um, getting ready to wrap up a little bit but as you all are working from home um some of you may already be stay at home moms and now your spouses are at home or your significant others are at home you have to define what's important for you come out of this checking your heart doing a self-examination yes. checking your blood pressure detoxing um doing things that keep you healthy and well in the midst of and, and you know I even like to take out of this that um, it's not even so much more a pandemic as it's just a panic for some. So today, take a step back and ask yourself, are you really embracing the opportunity or are you in a panic mode? Right, right. Because of what's taking place. Right, yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and initially when I was... I was going, we were going through this. I felt like it was a panic, but I had to sincerely pray and say, Lord, this is where we are. And I would rather my family be healthy and safe than me to uh, complain or, or panic about this situation that we're in. Um, but I liked what you were uh, talking about, about trying to make sure that we, um, not only detox, but live in the present. And yeah. I'm, and write down, you know, work in the now and like write down, you know, even because we use our phones so much, mm -hmm. write down things. I have a whole empty book journal that I um, plan to use because I was like, I need to start writing and handwriting things out. Yes, I type on my I type notes out all the time. I'm always using the technology, but to write it down, it sticks some kind of, it, it, when you're actually physically writing down things, they kind of stick and it helps you stick to it. And, um, and writing slows you down. It really does. 
And, um, and it brings another, um, it's like you said, if you write it down, it's clear. Right. Um, you can go back and look at it to remind yourself and or refresh yourself um, as to what it is that you set. So you said that earlier, you set a goal for yourself. Right. And sometimes you may not stick to the plan, but it's important to um, be able to bring that to your remembrance. So just simply look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I'm thankful for this time with you as always. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, as we said earlier, serve with one another. Yes, it is fun. It is wonderful. I um, I know today, like I, I think it's beautiful where you are. Um, it is really nice here as well. And um, and I was just like, oh man, we 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 went out walking already, and we took taking the boys uh, walking as well. We took them to the track. And it's like, okay, we're going to have to figure out how to get back outside again. Um, when we be on the field, we'll probably go out and just just get some fresh air one more time. But, you know, I've enjoyed this, and I thank you for joining me today. Ladies, men, whomever, you know, when you watch this, just remember that, you know, we're all in this together. Yes. Um, we need to take time to really um, reflect and and, and use what we have. We, you know, no, I'm not a, a expert, uh, whatever you want to call it, but I feel like um, because I've lived some things, I have something to share. Amen. But, and, and I want to encourage everyone. I know everybody, you know, we don't really know the future, but I encourage you to know that there is a future. Mm -hmm. It's uncertain right now. There is a future. And um, when we get to the other side of whatever happens, um, there's still a life to live. And so we can live now and continue to take one day at a time. And, I've, and I think I've kind of gotten that way. I think April, I committed to just like focusing on one day at a time, not looking too far. And April flew by. April, it really did. April disappeared. And, and so I think if we just focus on now and not worry about what's ahead or what we have to deal with, um, we'll be all right. And for those that may be concerned about uh, um, a need or concerned about how God's going to make a way, I am praying for you. I believe God's going to make a way and come through. Might need to turn that TV off. <sighs> <laughs> Probably attest some of those days I had that high anxiety or I was so messed up is because I watched the news for more than an hour. Wow. You know, or I was watching all the updates and I was listening to all the stuff and I was just. That will do it. That is, we need yeah. to be a part of your detox too. You, I think we know enough about this situation that we can make our own judgments. We don't need the news to tell us anything else. Mm -hmm. We can just settle our hearts and minds. But I want you guys to be encouraged if, you, if you're concerned about your future. Like I said, God is already there. And I, uh, I pray for everyone, every mom, every dad, every child, um, every nurse. Um, Hope's going to pray. That's why I'm, I'm doing all this prayer. Well, you set me up for that. <laughs> <laughs> She go for it. She's like, oh, she got me. I started, you finish it. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we, I'm sorry, we didn't talk about that. But, um, but yeah, for every nurse, every doctor, everyone, like I said, everyone is in this together. And so every uh, uh, non-essential or whatever they're calling them, all the small businesses, every entrepreneur, you know, everybody, we are sincerely praying for you. And um, if and, and there's nothing wrong with counseling you say that again I, I, I meant and see i meant to say that earlier when we were talking about that self-examination exam, examination situation there's nothing wrong with counseling and talking to someone um and mainly you know in our community especially it's important so if you're having issues and you're having days and days and days of issues find somebody talk to them it's okay find a safe place because I'm going to tell you, your mom or your, your spouse may not be able to help you. 
you know, they hear you, they see you, but they, you know, it may be that you need to talk to someone and get to someone in a trusted space that can help you sort through some thoughts. And yes. so yes. talk to someone, find, find a counselor, find a therapist, whatever you need. It's safe and it's okay to do. And with all the technology and smartphones we have, you can do it from your house. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, I'm glad you said that because that's huge in the African American community. We, you know, I don't know about you, but growing up, um, if someone went to a counselor, people would automatically say, you're crazy. That yes. is wrong. It's such a myth. Horrible stigma. Yeah. Really bad stigma. And it speaks volumes when you can recognize that you need the additional support. Right. And help a professional. It's just like going to a doctor when your body gets physically sick. Um, so don't try to weather this by yourself because you are not alone. There are people right. licensed and qualified to help you right where you are and take advantage of the opportunity. I think even now, Demetra, some cities are, um, they're getting the extra support because they realize the stress and anxiety and depression yes. levels are up. Yes. And so they're making, a, a, um, what do you call it, additional phone lines available for people to call and get the help. So don't... Right. Don't try to do this by yourself if you feel pressure. Right. You are not alone. And, and, and I think this is where I pray. <laughs> so, Father, thank you for this day. Thank, thank you for life, life more abundantly. We appreciate all that you've done, all yes. you're going to do in the lives of your people. Give us strength. Give us endurance. Give us peace. Give us the wisdom and guidance to weather the storm in the midst of a pandemic. Lord, we pray for every first responder, every doctor, nurse, hospital attendant, every receptionist, even the teachers who are at home uh, teaching from home, the principals, administrators, the parents who have become teachers, and even the students. Lord, we pray for a miracle for those who are in need, those who are stressed. Yes experiencing anxiety or distress lord we intercede on their behalf today and we ask that for those listening that you would grant them their heart's desire and petition heal our homes let your presence be present that we might endure in the name of jesus amen amen and amen 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 i felt like the old folks there you know they had to give three amens to make it it is so so it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for joining us today. Yes. Thank you all for joining us. We appreciate you for stopping by. Please, we will interact. I will interact with you. Um, if you watch this later, this will be up to for the playback. And uh, we look forward to coming back again. We'll have some more stuff. Also, inbox me or Hope. I think I've tagged. I haven't tagged her yet, but inbox us about some topics and things. Again, we are both um, happy to talk about whatever. So, yes. But love you guys. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye bye.